All right, sit down everybody. I'm gonna show you how to animate a long shadow like this in After Effects. I'm gonna be doing this on text, but it works on basically everything. A shape layer, an image, you know, you get it. For the first effect, go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Radial Fast Blur, which is gonna make it bulge out like this. Kick up the amount to 100, and it's gonna look pretty hard to see after that, especially when we move the center of it to the starting point of our animation. We're not gonna animate it just yet, but while you're getting it into place, think of the center like a light source creating a shadow on the opposite side of the text. Next, go to Effect, Matte, Matte Choker. This helps clean up the blur to make it a bit more shadow-like, and all we have to do is set all of its settings to zero, except for iterations, which can stay at one. Then go to choke one and crank that all the way to the left, which will leave it at negative 127. Now let's actually make it look like a shadow by going to effect, generate, fill. By default, it'll probably make yours red, which we don't want, so let's set it to black instead. And it's looking a little bit too intense, so let's go ahead and lower that opacity. I'm setting mine to 50%, but you can adjust yours however you see fit. And we're almost done. Let's just get our original text back by going to effect, channel, CC composite and we don't really have to do anything with this one. It just brings the original text back on top of all the other effects. Now, how about we finally animate it? Go back up to your fast blur and make a keyframe for center. Now move forward a bit on the timeline and bring the center along a straight line like this and you've got a simple shadow animation. And that's the basics of this effect, but for one last detail, I wanna brighten up the shadow a bit by going to effect, transition, linear wipe. Set the completion of the wipe to 10% and the feather to 700. Now I'm gonna set the wipe angle to a point where it sort of lines up with the shadow at the beginning of the timeline. You kinda just have to eyeball it, but negative six looks really good to me. I'm gonna make a keyframe for it, then go to the end of the shadow's animation and adjust the wipe to match, which looks like about 4%. And look at that. That took me like 20 seconds and it added a nice level of depth to my shadow. I'm gonna wrap up by highlighting and easy easing my keyframes so they play a bit smoother, and that's that. Hope you like this one and I'll see you next time. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.